Well, I've worked for the Chickasaw Nation for quite a while. In fact, I just got my 20-year um, recognition last week. So that's always exciting. Um, but, you know, uh, not all of those years have been in with Bedre, but a, a good portion, I'd say at least half of that. Um, we're probably into at least 10 years now. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, yeah, it's de- Bedre is definitely just, it's part of my adult working career. And um, I have a culinary background, but I also have a PR uh, sales marketing background, so it, it all it all fits really well. Yeah, those two go perfect yes. together. Right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> the business you're in today. What um, do you grow up in the area? Do I? Did you grow up in the area? We do. You, did you grow up? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm. I grew up in Oklahoma, and I mean, I've lived in different states. Um, mm-hmm. You know, in Texas and Florida and Tennessee and South Carolina. So yeah, I've yeah been around, but. Did you think growing up that you were going to be, you know, general manager of a chocolate factory one day? You mentioned the culinary background. Was that like an early on kind of a goal of I want to be in the culinary industry and in the, the food and beverage industry? Um, it, it turned into that when I went to culinary school. And I had to really think about that when I started culinary school. So I was in Florida at the time in Miami. And because I, I love cooking, obviously. And I, it's kind of like eating the chocolate. I thought, you know, I love cooking. Going to school is going to make it more of a job, and then it's not as pleasurable as it is just, you know, being a cook. Um, but actually, it it was an amazing education because it, it gave me that that background for really any type of food industry that I wanted to pursue uh, because. Uh, and this was Johnson and Wells, which I think is an absolutely wonderful culinary school, uh, because they give you a really good basic core, you know, education. And it's not like people think, oh, well, you're going to learn all these recipes. No, it's not really about the recipe. It's about the basics of what cooking means and learning, uh, you know, cooking, pr- you know, process and procedures from all over the world. We had chefs from all over the world that were our teachers, you know. So it, it was an amazing experience. I mean, I, I just loved it. So when I came back to Oklahoma, um, the original owner, I worked for him for couple of years then I went back to work for the Chickasaw Nation which is I'm Chickasaw and that's my tribe and I love them and you know I like being you know part of you know the culture that I grew up in uh, to work in that it's very rewarding and the chocolate factory just kind of turned into something that Governor Anatubby wanted um, he saw it was a probably the first business that really would expand um you know, our business, you know, background. And we were just really happy to, you know, be able to purchase it from the original owner. He was an oil man and he he started it and probably took it as far as he really wanted to go. I think he was close, getting closer to retirement really. And, um, and he chose the perfect people to want to sell it to because we've taken it and expanded it and brought it to where it is today. Mm-hmm.